Lane County Jail has finally seen the result of the public safety levy that passed in May. It added 35 new jail beds today. That's just a portion of the total amount that they plan to add by next week. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us live tonight in the studio with details on what this means for the future of the jail. Sarah. Renee, the jail plans to add another 96 beds by the end of next week. And the Sheriff's Department says while it's not perfect, the additional beds is a step in the right direction for Lane County. Residents in Lane County can rest a little easier, knowing there will be fewer capacity-based releases at the Lane County Jail. But the key word is fewer. The additional beds won't completely eliminate capacity-based releases. This is going to bring us up to 256 local beds. So we're about a quarter of what we need to have in order to keep offenders in custody. With the passing of the levy, the amount of jail beds will nearly double from the previous number of 125. But the amount the Sheriff's Department says they need in order to keep offenders from being released is 1,000. That means we still have a lot of work to do. The Sheriff has called it a public safety crisis. Um, and without the ability to hold an offender accountable um, for their actions, there's no reason for them not to go out and do the same thing again. He says most of the inmates released are property crime offenders, but some of those offenders let go are facing charges for more serious crimes. Residents we spoke with say the capacity-based releases are a problem, but there's an underlying issue that may fix it. I feel like a lot of people are in jail that don't belong there. Maybe they need to have uh, mental health care. Maybe they don't need to be long term so much. They need to be referred for maybe drug rehabilitation or something like that. And the levy does just that. The funds not only pay for housing the offenders and hiring more deputies, but it also covers food and medical costs, which include mental health services. Residents say it's a good sign for the future, but they're still a little on edge. I think about that guy that got held up at knife point in the middle of the day. And I'm like, you know, that's <laughs> that's a little frightening. Now, the Lane County Sheriff's Office had to wait until today to add those beds because July 1st is the start of the new fiscal year. Also, the fees for the levy aren't collected until November, so right now the Sheriff's Office is borrowing from the County Solid Waste Management Fund. Once those fees go into effect, the levy essentially pays back what was borrowed. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.